Hello, Angel Babies. How are you? So I'm coming at you with another video, okay? I was shuffling and the Queen of Wands in reverse decided to fall on the floor. Um, I immediately, which I don't normally think this way, but thought of karmic energy, karmic cycles, karmic people, um, yeah. So this could very well be a Leo Sagittarius or Aries. This could be a third party situation or just somebody and, um, or it's just, you know, telling us about some kind of karma that you were trying to leave. But with the Queen of Wands in reverse, she is very domineering. She's very childish. She's very, um, you know, do first, think later. She's just very immature. This is a very, very wild, immature energy. It is like a flame bouncing from, you know, this candle and just kind of doing whatever it wants, okay? Going with the flow. Um, but again, a very immature energy, okay? A very immature soul is also what I'm hearing, like a young soul. Okay, very little, little growth here. Um, yeah, okay, so this Queen of Wands um, is in bad health, okay? Now, this could be mental health, it could be um, physical health, but this person is in bad health, okay? And with the 3, uh, 31, 3 plus 1 is 4, this person is probably having issues with their stability, okay? Um, yeah, so I'm seeing this as like maybe... Yeah, okay, there's a message that's getting ready to come through. It hasn't come through yet, um, so there's been, like, kind of a delay going on, but there's a message that's going to come through about completion, okay? So this person's definitely in bad mental health right now, okay? They're not thinking about the things that they do before they do them, all right? And this, I don't necessarily feel like this is a young person. They could be older. Like, I'm not really getting, like, an age specification coming through um but they're getting ready to receive a message um that i think that they perceive is coming already yeah poverty so a message about poverty so this is a message about losing something with three and seven that's also a 10 so you have two numbers of completion here um so i think that maybe this person knows that their relationship is going to end um possibly yes okay this came up in the reverse all right but now it's like this and this is expectation okay this person expects to have some type of new beginning all right with the two and the eight okay two plus eight nine ten that's the new beginning all right so you have two tens here which is twin flame numbers as well. So somebody is getting ready to leave a situation and go ahead and go with their twin flame. You have fortune at the bottom of the deck. All right. With 226, so 2 plus 6 is 8. So there is going to be literally, okay, some type of amazing fortune, amazing blessing that's going to come when this person gets with their twin flame. All right. Um. Let's see what kind of ascension that this person is, is going through, okay? This karmic individual is going through. Because there's no sense in going through a great deal of pain if you're not planning on learning anything from it, right? So let's do that first. And I feel like, I don't know why, you might see this person walk outside a lot, like by themselves, which isn't normal. Um... They may have, like, a look to them, like, they're thinking really, really difficult and hard about something. Like, they just may have a very, like, heavy look on their face as of lately. Maybe that's not a part of this person's personality. Again, um, with the Queen of Wands here, Leo Sagittarius or Aries, or somebody that's just embodying that right now. But they're not able to stand in their power in this situation, okay? Like, their mental health is really blocking them from, um being able to get better okay um we also have yeah mirror who or what is triggering you yeah okay yeah like literally that would have been a better word for me explaining this person's face while they're walking is that they're triggered as fuck okay they're very triggered okay there's something that's in their life right now that's mirroring back to them how they are 
in like real life, like in reality. Remember when I said this person can't really tell the difference between somebody attacking them and somebody, you know, standing in their, their power or standing their ground, okay? Um, so this has, this person has a problem with action and reaction, okay? I feel like that's a part of this person's, um, bad health, okay? Their bad mental health is that they don't understand action and reaction, okay? They just feel like everything should go action, 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 okay? Um, so this person, um, acts impulsively, Okay, so that's what's triggering them is maybe there's somebody around them that made them really sit down and think about how impulsive that they have been. Okay, either towards you, about you, or something. I feel like towards you, though. All of these are coming up in reverse. Okay, so trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? Yeah, okay, so this person... Since this is coming up in reverse, I don't normally read these in reverse, but I feel like I should. When this message comes through for this person... Okay, this message here, and I always think of this as message of concern. This person is going to not have anybody that they feel like they can trust around them. This person isn't going to feel um, supported at all. They're they're going so first of all, they're being triggered as hell and having bad mental health. Okay, because their actions are being mirrored back to them. They don't know what the fuck to do about it. Okay, also. This person isn't going to be supported whenever this important message comes in, okay? Whenever. And, oh my God, you have the tower card of the deck, which is the crumbling. The crumbling, okay? What are you clinging on to? So there's something that this person is trying to control, okay? Possibly somebody else with, which I think is money, okay? Because poverty. Remember, this came up in reverse as well. This person is trying to control somebody with money and they're going to end up causing their own demise. All right, is what I'm hearing. They're going to end up causing their own, I'm hearing inflated sense of self. Like they're going to cause themselves to deflate. So when you have an inflated sense of self, you are like narcissistic. You only care about self or things relative to the self. So... In this case, this person is being forced to think about, this person may be left completely alone without people to really be there to support them. Um, I feel like now they're going to see their own superficial behavior mirrored back to them and that's going to cause them even more bad mental health because maybe this person is going to receive this message about this person being with their twin flame or heading towards their twin flame or even if they don't think that they're heading towards something else, this person is just going to know that I am not what this person wants. And on top of that, since they won't be receiving the support that comes in when you break up with somebody, because that's essentially what I'm picking up on, um, this person is going to realize how superficial they come across to other people, okay? Because people are going to be very superficial with them when it comes to um, this breakup. They're not going to have the level of empathy um, that they're expecting from other people. Nobody's really going to care. And sometimes that can happen with a breakup where people can love you very much, but when you break up with somebody that they knew didn't align with you in the first place, you don't really get a whole lot of sympathy from, you know, your loved ones when it comes to that sort of situation. So, um, this person is going to be getting this energy back to them. Okay. The, the lack of Self-awareness is going to come back to them and the lack of having true empathy and expressing that for others is also going to come back to them, okay? And they're going to be in a very lack poverty type of mind state. They may literally be in poverty, but okay, there is expectation here. They're going to expect somebody to um, come and kind of emotionally save them, all right? I feel this as like waiting someone's return, okay? Um, the ever unfolding rose cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. Yeah. So this person needs to have a better expectation of, you know, the current circumstances. All right. Um, maybe that's the advice that they're going to be told is that, you know, it's not happening to you. It's happening for you. Okay. It's, it's better off this way. And this person's not going to be satisfied with that 
answer, okay? I'm feeling like they're going to be really upset with people just kind of giving them, you know, the okie doke. Oh my God, and the last thing left in the box was a privileged lady. Yeah, so this person may be very privileged, okay? This um, feminine energy getting ready to go through this, this karmic, as people would say, make a big deal about karmics, makes the video sound interesting, but it kind of gets annoying after a while. Um, so that's what I'm seeing. Yeah, oh, we have the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. So... In saying that, you're this person is going to be completely cut off. I'm seeing also the Ace of Swords in reverse, so you, they're not going to have communication with this person at all. So whoever's divine masculine was with this person, um, they're completely, completely cutting off communication. Okay, and I feel like this person, this masculine, that this karmic that we're looking at her energy right now was with or is with but getting ready to leave they have been secretly talking to you while getting away from this person okay because i saw the ace of swords in the upright next to the um seven of swords okay in the upright as well when i cut the deck so there's going to be open communication between your masculine and you right now I like there I should say there is going to be if it's not already happened or there is currently and this is actually what your masculine is going through and this is how the karmic feels about it okay so um oh my god and it just keeps coming up like ace of swords ace of swords ace of swords okay let's shuffle Hmm. And this message is definitely coming from a masculine. This isn't coming from... So the message to this karmic is definitely coming from your masculine. Like, they're not... Yeah, we have the Seven of Swords in the upright, and we have the Nine of Wands, okay, to clarify this message. So right now, the feminine here, okay, this karmic feminine right now is being deceptive, okay? They're not saying that they're leading... They're not saying how they truly feel, okay? They're not. Um, yikes. Okay. That, that's a good spread right there. Yeah, we have the Four of Cups in reverse. So they're not talking about how they're extremely dissatisfied right now, okay? Like, I'm hearing the divine to the karmic right now. They're not, or the divine feminine. And maybe even the karmic. Like, they're not telling either of you how upset and dissatisfied they really are. So I think that is why... The Seven of Swords is here. I also don't think that the karmic is telling, okay, the masculine how upset and dissatisfied they are either. But I think that's more along the lines of they don't want to push the divine masculine away. Okay. Um, they're trying to keep a watchful eye on everything. Um, just because like with the eye here, the all-seeing eye. It always makes me think about, you know, this person like being stalked or being followed. So this karmic has possibly become extremely clingy um, or just very suspicious and watchful. Like maybe she's like going through his phone. Maybe she's like looking for receipts in the car. Um, she may be driving his car or asking to drive his car to like search it like the freaking police for some reason, like just going through all his shit just to see if she could find something, because she feels like something's up, okay? Um, also, with the Nine of Wands being here under the message, okay, and, you know, not being supported on your path or trusting where this is going, I'm also sensing that this person has, like, a horrible feeling in their stomach. Like, they, every time they think about it, like, their, their heart drops down into their stomach, and it's causing them, like, a major, major anxiety. Like, they feel beat up. I wouldn't be surprised if this person woke up with, like, muscle aches and back aches or head tension, gets tension headaches. Or um, if they are up for too long, their feet hurt. Because, like, the, the emotional upset has literally just worn their body down. They've taken a beating. Uh, it's taken a beating on their body. All right? And with the emperor here in reverse, okay, this is a tyrant. This is a narcissist, so this is definitely an Aries person. 
okay? That is getting ready to have this tower moment and getting ready to lose something, okay? And this could possibly be the divine masculine, okay? She's getting ready to lose her partner in crime, right? Um, and it is a crime because they weren't supposed to be together. So, I mean, like, it probably caused a whole bunch of destruction for everybody else, right? Or just for themselves, and we also have the magician in the upright, which is Virgo energy. So, again, we have Aries, Virgo, Aries, and Virgo energy here. And this Virgo person, okay, this masculine that's came through here towards the end of this reading, has an expectation, okay, um, the ever unfolding rose. So, this person has the expectation to try and manifest their way out of this situation, okay? They have high expectations when it comes to ending the situation. Um, and that could have been part of the issue, too, because we all know Virgos, like, are they, they have perfectionist energy. They like for things to be perfect, but they can also obsess over things being perfect, which can keep them from moving, all right? It keeps them from moving on. And we also have cracked open, rock bottom, surrender to the alchemy of life. Oh my god, how many times are we gonna get something that says cracked open? This is a whole different deck. So, this person has cracked open, okay, they've taken off their mask. And they've allowed themselves to stop being deceptive, okay? So this is possibly the Divine Masculine's energy, okay? Not wanting to be deceptive anymore, okay? They've hit rock bottom again, okay? And they've had to start over. And we also have Child of the Cosmos. The intelligence of the universe lies within you, okay? So this person has all the answers that they need. And they need to trust their path, okay? Okay? Um, so you have one person that is feeling unsupported on their path, okay? And this other person feels like, you know what, whatever happens, I have to release this anyway. You know, I'm, you know, I'm a, um, you know, a child of a higher being. So this person may also be very religious. Excuse the crying in the background, I'm sorry. He's not yet gone to daycare because I haven't signed him up. Anywho, we also have, I may pronounce this wrong, Harith, longing for home, homesick for the stars. So this person wants to go back to you, okay, Divine Feminines watching, because I know that's mostly who watches readings, but this person wants to come back to you, okay? They're, they're clinging on, like, past good memories that they've had with you while they're going through this. Or this karmic is clinging on to past good memories, okay? And maybe she's... I'm hearing that she's realizing that there are none. Like, like they've been so, like, tyrannical, okay? And crazy, okay, with the emperor here. This divine person has been so all over the place that, like... You know, there are no good memories. There, there weren't any, Okay. Um, they were always in the middle of something, doing something, saying something. Like, there was never a time where, like, there, there was any peace, is what I'm hearing. All right, and it says, fall into my arms, surrender, holding the opposites, extremes of life, okay? Yeah, this person needs to surrender and just try and make their way out of it because there's no sense in fighting for it now, okay? It's completely crumbled, So, for this reading, I will say that this is very interesting. I normally don't pick up on um, karmic people's energy when it comes to, you know... I normally don't pick up on this energy because this is like telling you what the karmic is going to get, which she's not going to be supported. They're going to have a breakup. He's not coming back, okay? And she is going to forever feel like she is falling apart, all right? Because that's what I'm getting with the the ever unfolding rose like it's it's gonna be too many layers for somebody to peel apart to be with her so I feel like she's honestly going to be alone and the only thing she's gonna get is like superficial you know pats on the back superficial oh I'm here for you to comfort you superficial stuff okay other than that um this divine masculine is really going through a huge tower moment 
okay, they're really going through it and they're going to have to honestly pull themselves up by them, their bootstraps, okay? Because I feel like you, Divine Feminine, you've completely checked out. You were in the last reading where you're like, I'm letting this go, all right? And um, you're leaving the Divine Masculine to deal with, you're leaving him to deal with his own shit, basically. And this is the shit that he's going through. So if you want to check out the last reading, that one was more about you and the Divine Masculine, okay? You kind of whipping him into shape by tossing the ball back in his court. Bitch, this was the ball that you tossed, okay? Them having to officially break things off with somebody and leave them alone, which I, the Ace of Swords kept coming up in reverse, coming up in reverse, coming up in reverse. So he is planning on being extra faithful to you, okay? If he was not in the past. Um... And they're going to be telling you truths, okay? They're going to be surrendering to you and telling you what you need to know or what you they feel like you need to know, okay? Um, but they're going to be coming to you like kind of like raw, all right? And kind of going through. So that is something to keep in mind. But I'm going to end the reading here. And I don't know why I looked at this marriage stick here, Okay and thought of this so this is possibly a marriage that's falling apart because it also says separation like a minor separation so this separation here that they're going through is going to keep you guys apart for a little bit but i feel like he's getting ready to come in and like marry you or something okay so that's the reading that i have for you today um if you need me for a personal reading you know that my everything you need is in the description box so go ahead and check that out all right for others of you, if you like this video, like it. If you like me enough, subscribe to my new subscribers. I really appreciate it. Um, sometimes I do feel like I'm just talking to myself more than now than lately. All right, but I appreciate it. So if you like the video, please do give me a thumbs up. And as always, I will see you next time.